Pikachu, welcome to another top 10 epic racing moment. Number 10 support got Ryan with an absolutely horrendous fail there with the lamppost on the final corner. The finish line is there in first place, losing out two positions or even more after that. I'm not sure, but that's your typical Ryan move right there. But number nine spot, I'm gonna let this one speak for itself. I've never seen this before, but hey. So AK, no AK move. Oh my god. <laughs> Two beautiful fails right there already for this episode. This episode is a mixture of so many different types of clips all in one. So number eight spot, we've got Picano at the beginning of a race with about 30 cars. Let's take a look at the Zentorno already passing a few cars in 22nd position. There's a car flying up in the sky. Fennis Brophy explodes and clenches this 45 degree turn. Another 45 degree as he threads that needle. I don't know how that was possible. Also, he's carried on to grab to 12th position, 11th. I don't know, but so many positions at the start. Look at that, 45 degree, and then threading the needle there. Another 45 degree holds it and grabs so many other positions. That's crazy. Number seven spot, got Nema 95 and K-Dog ahead. And uh, Nema makes a nice move there. Very smooth. One of the smoothest overtakes I've seen in a while. Uh, nicely done, man, to get in first place there. Oh, man, I'll tell you, this episode was pretty tough to order these clips because all of them are really good. So, number six spot, we got Bubble T385. See, three dominators here. He's in third position. Here's a little tricky airtime section. One of the cars hits the pole, ricochets. Oof, he clenches that, threads it, and claims his first position. Let's take a look at that one more time. The chain of events and how this occurred. Look at this. Shim, Dam, Dibbly do right there through the gap how about that awesome just you know like a breeze man number five sport got briffy 1322 and the audi already had he and he's going to take this left hander close camera view there car obviously is ahead of him he's going to try go on the outside wait a minute that's a pole he barrel rolls it goes through a bush tree looking like motherfucker and holds it that's a pretty pretty damn pretty damn reco a nice recovery nah shit nah nice nah nah nally nice nice Nice. Na oh, why am I speaking so much? Number four, we got Evil Tunic. All right. This is a one and a half hour race. The last lap, he's having a battle uh, for si holding his sixth position. He ends up losing the sixth position, goes into seventh, ricochets up that tree. Now he's trying to catch up, which he does right here onto the highway. Let's take a look at this. This is some intense shit. Imagine this is GC2, right? Multi class endurance race. And it's obviously trying to fight for that sixth position to get vital points you know and this battle was going throughout the entire race and on the final lap this happens obviously not, well not this is not the epic bit it's coming up now on the exit of the highway you guys with evil twin going against ymca and this is where they're side by side sixth place battle six to seven going at it here oh tight entry like that's a fresh juicy one that's definitely a virgin and he cuts back and he's gonna get that. Oh, can he hold it on the outside, brother? Oh, he gets the overtake and then closes him out with a defense. Oh, man. Evil Tinny keeping it composed. Let's take a look and listen to Evil's jizzing reaction. Oh, Jesus. That was intense. Damn right, that was intense, Evil. But number three spot, we've got Taz Avid in a Sports GT event, a 45 minute race, a flying tire there, and the belts are making love to Tyree Stike. Well, if that's not good enough, let's take a look at this. Watch out, hit. Oh, shit. I just got fucking. I got like. Cam like stuck to me and threw me into the. Threw me into the. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh well that was unfortunate. It I don't I don't even know where a cam is at this point, but it like uh his car just stuck to me and just was like, Nope, you're going into the gas station. I don't know how anyone can stay calm after that, but this is Taz Avid we're talking about. This guy is the leader of Apex Stalkers and nothing pisses him off. And if you do piss him off, well, good luck to you. Number two spot, we've got Murphos. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know who he's battling with right now. I think there's two Masacros. Uh, there's a chicane coming up left, right. I think the dude in the front cuts in too tight and makes a mistake by getting two walls in the air. Therefore, Murphos is able to build up momentum. I think this guy is new to the community here. I don't think anyone knows who he is. Oh, he makes a nice move on the outside. That dude, that, that silver car is really shit. Now, I don't know what that silver car is up to, but right now, wait a minute. 
I think you can see him in a bit of red, but oh, 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 Murphy's hits that little bit of a wooden spoon. And I think, uh, I think who's that? A silver car? I don't know. Let me know who that is. He makes a dive bomb on the inside, but Murphy's does a cut back. Beautiful. It's the side by side battling going right away. Who is that? All right, gets the momentum. This guy's a side by side right now. What's going to go? What's going to happen? Oh, both of them going into the corner. This is so clenched, but Murphy's got a better run. Gets a little bit tired. He's going to do a left hander here. Slight break and goes wide there, but wait a minute. What's oh, whoa, lag dive bomb there. That's not acceptable. What's that silver car doing? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think it's going to give him a little bit of space there on the inside. Let him carry a little bit of momentum. Wait a minute. But I think, oh, that silver car has got a little bit of momentum. This is the last lap. The final corner, the sweeper. Wait a minute. Murphys does have the cut back, but wait a minute. I think the silver car also has a similar sort of speed as cancel each other. Oh, so side by side right now going into the final straight of the final lap. The silver car is slightly ahead, but wait a minute. Murphys gets somewhat of the inside advantage here because the right hand slow curve there. And he seems to be side by side. It's going to be a photo finish possibly. Wait, no, wait. I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, that was close. But Murphys grabs it. This guy managed to win the race. That's crazy. Number one sport we got our oh, Amorous. Uh, this right here, I honestly, I, I've never witnessed such uh, clench, butt clenching moments. And there's multiple moments, one of which is this one here. Avoids that T20 doing a 90 degree spin. There's another car flying off a Turismo. This car's lagging all over the place, having to make some anticipated moves. Dodges that one. Hairpin makes a really smart move, avoiding all the unnecessary shimmy dammy dimmy doobs of ricochets there. Holds currently sixth position. He was at 12th, I believe, at the beginning of this clip. Now he's going to carry on slowly through that chicane. He manages to hold on to it. A little bit of lag collision coming up right now. Oh, holds it a 45 degree turn and clenches. Oh, two cars. Oh, that's a two car for the needle. I swear, this is honestly, I, I don't know this, how this guy managed to do all of that. Grab all those positions and just hold it. Just hold. Look at that. Of all those cars, this guy makes it through that. What a clip that was. This was a tough week to select the order, guys. Let me know if you guys disagree with order in the comments section, how your order would look like. As always, if you guys got any epic racing moments of GTA 5, send it to me. This week was just a variation of all sorts of moments put together in one as a top 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Like, there's a little delay with the series. It's supposed to be weekly, but obviously... As each episode goes, the standards are going to be higher and higher. And so selecting clips are going to be difficult. But either way, be sure to send it in. I'll be the one to judge. Other than that, thanks for watching. Show you so knock on that piece. Yay! Hi, guys. Yes, I'm a materialistic bastard. I wear these for gym. They're my favorite Jordans because I'm a retard. Also, because I'm, I'm even more of a retard.